turned it off? Probably. All right, so continuation. So watch this. Whenever you go to give permission, boom, read calendar events. Watch this. Allows the app to read all calendar events stored in your phone, including those of friends or coworkers. So from your phone, you're giving Facebook permission to have your friend and your coworkers, anybody else around you that you got, you got their contacts on your phone, then Facebook knows where they are from your phone. Watch this. Allows the app to read all calendar events stored on your phone, including those of friends or coworkers. This may allow, which may means definitely, this will allow, we'll read it verbatim though, this may allow uh, the app to share your, excuse me, to share or save your calendar data regardless of confidentiality or sensitivity. You know what confidentiality means? Confidentiality means, yo, listen, man, this is between me and you, I ain't gonna tell nobody else. So this says that don't exist. Sensitivity is to say it don't matter, you know, if you think it, that what, nobody's supposed to see that picture. Nobody supposed to see that video. Somebody's supposed to, that's private information. Nah, -uh, because you gave Facebook permission to read your calendar and share it. Look, share or save your calendar data regardless of confidentiality information. So watch this. Let's turn that on. Camera. Go to details, all permissions. Let's read camera. Take pictures and videos. So you're giving Facebook WhatsApp, not, uh, well, WhatsApp also, because WhatsApp is the sister app of Facebook. So WhatsApp and uh, Facebook Messenger and Facebook are all the same, all right? They're all owned by uh, Keiko Spock and Stiegelsteins, all right? So watch this. Allows the app to take pictures and videos with the camera. This permission allows the app to use the camera at any time without your permission. You see that? Watch this. So let's go ahead and turn on camera. Contacts. Let's go to contacts. See what happened, Facebook lovers. Contacts. You got three different categories that you give permission to. To find contacts on the device. You give it permission to read your contacts. You give it permission to modify your contacts. What does modify your contacts mean? Watch this. Say again. Change your contacts. Allows the app to modify the data about your contacts stored on your phone, including the frequency which uh, you've called, emailed, or contacted in other ways with specific contacts. This permission allows the app to delete contact data. So you'd be like, no, I called you. No, I didn't. I know you called me. No, no, I did. But I got him up. No, you don't. You don't even own your phone no more. We're going to learn about black mirrors also. Phones and TVs are black mirrors. We'll learn about that. Watch this. Now, we're still just in the contacts category. Read your contacts. Watch this. Allows the app to read data about the contacts uh, stored in your phone, including the frequency with uh, which you've called, emailed, or communicated in other ways with specific individuals, specific individuals. This permission allows apps to save your contact data. Watch this. And malicious apps may share contact data without your knowledge. Hold on. Check dig. Let's get this real quick. Um, what do I need? I need... Um, hold on one second. 2.5 seconds. Firefox. Watch this. I'm my best by the wrong. The definition of malicious characterized by malice intending to do harm. So let's read this again. Spiteful, malevolent, vindictive, vengeful. Watch this. All permissions. Read your contacts. This permission allows apps to save contacts data and malicious apps may share contact data without your knowledge. So you're giving yourself permission. You're giving yourself over. Find contacts on a device, all right? Let's read. Let's get to the point. Whenever it's, First, it starts at the top line. Then each one detail says this app may include accounts created by app, uh, applications you have installed, all right? Hold on. Location. Record audio. This is going to be fun. Watch this. This app, uh, this permission allows the app to record audio at any time without your permission. <laughs> 
directly call phone numbers. Malicious apps may cost you money by making calls without your confirmation. <laughs> See? So watch what you give me permission to, all right? And it's, it's crazy because I know modify or delete SD card contents. Allows the right allows the applicant to write to the SD uh, SD card. All right, read contents of your card, receive text messages, send text messages. Yeah, man, this app allows uh, allows to send SMS messages that may result in unexpected charges. Malicious apps may cost you money by sending messages without your phone confirmation. That means you don't even got to push the green button. See. So with that being said, you know, this uh, holy convocation, we're in the, the time frame about Ashiyah. I'm not going to go down and turn all the, these on. I'm actually going to go through, turn these off. And then after I go through and turn these off, uh, what I'll be doing is, uh, it's good that everybody sees this. good that everybody know this. And again, if everybody want to get to it and see for themselves, you know, to make yourselves aware, just go to Messenger, long press it, and go to App Info. After you go to App Info, scroll all the way down, go to Permissions, and then you can read the permissions for yourself. Turn them on or turn them off, all right? All right, so again, that's good for everybody to see. Nice little mashpakapa, I'm fun thing to do. App Info, let's go to WhatsApp. Boom, scroll down, Permissions. Camera, let's turn all these off real quick. Go to All Permissions, All Permissions. Turn on Camera, it tells you, take pictures and videos. This permits, allows the app to use the camera anytime without your confirmation. What's happening? No difference. Watch this. May include any accounts created by the applicant you have installed. Same things. This permission allows the app to save your contact data and malicious apps. May See? WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, they're all on owned by, you know, Weigelberg and Stingle, Slinger, Slagger, Slaggers. You feel me? Kiko Keikelsteins. See? Kegel, Kikensteins. What was that one we did for Moab? Uh, ben, uh, hung, what, what? Dang, what we did for Moab bikes? It was a name. Yeah, it was a sodomite Moab bike name. I don't remember. I remember the one for uh, King Tut. What was it? Yeah, for the Hamite. Yeah, what was it? Um, King Up Your Button 2. <laughs> yeah, King Up Your Button. No, Pharaoh Up Your Button 2. God. Yeah, the Pharaoh, <laughs> the Pharaoh's had a, 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 a horrible, horrible custom of sodomy and, you know, you know, faggotism. So Pharaoh up at the button too. All right. So anyway, so we just wanted to show that Yasha Allah. And I'm me. I'm one. I'm like, I'll be telling Yasha Allah. I'll be like, yo, get WhatsApp, man. You know, WhatsApp, you can send stuff and, you know, you can do stuff and whoopty whoopty woo and all that good stuff. And you can. At the same time, you got to know that when you, when you hit that and you allow these permissions to come through, what you're doing is you're giving away all of your, all of your, um, any type of privacy. So all of that recording phone and whoopty woo and stuff. You know, ultimately, man, we really want to come up out of this place. You feel me? And I mean, having having the small knowledge of this stuff makes this walk, you know, a little bit easier. Anya Hablakam, Shalom Lakam, Kwame Yashirala, please share. All right, Shalom Yashirala.